radiation hybrid mapping or RH mapping. So this technique it is used for the mapping of mammalian DNA like the human genome. And here we can use uh, the X-ray so that uh, the fragmentation of the target DNA it is there. So X-rays ko jab hum cells ko mammalian cells like human cells ko expose karte hain to depending upon the dose of the X-ray it can cause the fragmentation of the genomic DNA and this fragmentation pattern it can be detected so that uh, we can analyze uh, the distance between the genes and as well as their locations on the chromosome. This technique was developed in 1970s by two scientists like uh, Stephen Goss and uh, Henry Harris when they subjected the mammalian cell to x-rays that caused the fragmentation uh, of the genomic DNA randomly. And then this irradiated cell that has been exposed to x-ray, then it was fused to a hamster cell. Hamster, uh, it is uh, 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 an organism like uh, belong to uh, the group of uh, organisms like the rodents, uh, a mammal. So, uski ovary se cell liya ja sakta hai. And this cell, it may be unirradiated. Ke isko radiation se expose nahi kiya ja sakta. So, now we have two cell types, like human cell that is irradiated to X-ray and its uh, DNA, it has been fragmented or broken into different fragments randomly. And another cell, hamster cell, or a rodent cell, as it is from a rodent organism. It is uh, not exposed to X-ray, so unradiated uh, cells. So both of these cells, they can be uh, fused to form a hybrid cell. So we can say that one cell is DNA fragmented, hai, uh, it has been exposed to X-ray, it can act as a donor DNA, and another uh, unradiated cell, like the rodent cell, it can act as a uh, host cell or the recipient cell and in this hybrid cell which is formed as a result of fusion of two cell in other words we can say that uh, human rodent hybrid uh, cells the fragmented DNA will express here so that uh, uh, fragment DNA depending upon uh, the position of genes they will express different proteins. Hum yeh kaya sakte hain ke fragmentation ki wajah se jo DNA ke segment separate huye hain wo protein ko express karenge. Suppose karen ke agar do genes hain that are far apart from each other ek suppose A idhar hai B gene idhar hai to it is more likely that X-ray will cause breakage between them. But if they are very closely uh, spaced with each other like uh, A gene is here, B is here, so less likely they will be separated by X-ray uh, breakage. So here such genes they will express together their product can be detected. So what will happen with the subsequent uh, multiplication of the cell, uh, what will happen is that uh, certain fragments that are unstable they will be lost and only those uh, fragments that are stable they can be detected and if they are producing same protein it means that they are uh, very close to each other because A will produce its respective protein B will produce its respective protein so that both proteins can be uh, detected so in this way by using x-ray radiation that can cause the breakage of the DNA more randomly, we can find out the locations of different genes on the chromosome. Then with the passage of time, this technique was modified around till 1980s and uh, it was used with some known sequence of DNA that are called as the SDS, sequence tagged sites. So such sites were selected and 
and randomly broken DNA. They were amplified and they were they were detected on the uh, agarose gel electrophoresis. So uh, after this discussion, we can say that uh, uh, this technique that is RH mapping, uh, radiation hybrid mapping, it is a bit modification of the genetic genetic linkage mapping. Uh, and here, in case of genetic linkage mapping, the frequencies they are measured on the basis of recombination where chromatids they are exchanged but here the chromatids they are not exchanged due to lack of meiosis but here uh, the DNA they are directly broken by the exposure of radiation. 